Right, so the first one was checked. So we've checked in door. And the first one is the check boxes. What's the radio button the first one? And the second one is the check box, which is loving. And you put checked in there. Sorted, and it's up. Yabba dabba fucking do. Moving on. The different elements from the most commonly used HTML elements are just like any other non self closing element. You can open a div element with a div tag and close it on another line with a closing div tag. Next year, your things can't love and top three things can't see it all within a single div element. Right, so. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, we'll get to Italy. Things catch love. With an adev. An adev. Yay! Yeah, I'm a dabba dude. Declare the document of an HTML document the challenge so far. So far. Specific HTML elements and their uses, however, there are a few elements that give overall structure to your page and should be included in the HTML document. At the top of your document, you need to tell the browser which version of HTML your page is using. HTML is an evolving language and is updated regularly. Most major browsers support the latest specification, which is HTML5. Our older web pages may use previous versions of the language. You tell the browser this information by adding Doc type HTML tag in the first line where the part of this version for HTML you use doc type. With the XML mark in the uppercase doc type is important, especially for older browsers. The HTML is not case. Next rest next to the rest of your HTML code needs to be wrapped in HTML tag. The HTML tag goes directly with the low HTML doc type HTML closing at the end of the page. Here's an example. Add a doc type tag for HTML to the top of the blank. HTML under it and opening and closing HTML which wrap around an H1 element heading including any text. Right, okay. So, exclamation mark. Oh, fuck, no, it's doc type. Doc type. HTML. HTML and a closing HTML. And the BBC's Euros journey doesn't end tonight. The daily Euros podcast job. Add a dog tape tag for HTML to the top of the blank page. Add an only closing HTML tag, which was done, which wrap around an H1 element. Yeah, but that I fucking do. <laughs> Moving on. To find the head and body of an HTML document, you can add another level of organization in the HTML document with HTML tags with the head body elements. Any markup with information about your page would go into the head tag. Then any markup with the content of the page which displays for a user would go into the body tag. Metadata such as links, meta, tile and style typically go inside the head element. Here's an example. Doc type HTML, HTML head, metadata, closing head, body, div, closing div, closing body, closing HTML. Edit the markup so there's a head and a body. The head element should only include the title and the body element should only include H1 and P. 